What's up guys in this video, I am going to show you how we will visualize Twitter tweets using Kibana. Now this is my Elasticsearch dashboard. So here I am in my Bonsai Elasticsearch. So all the data and the tweets which I have collected from Nifi of by using get Twitter processor are stored right here. Now we are going to visualize this data. So to visualize it, I have prepared a set of questions which we have to ask before visualizing it. So these are the set of questions. We will be answering all of them and this will be like a question and answer series like type of that in which we will ask all those questions to ourselves only and get the answer by using the Kibana dashboard. So let's hop to the Kibana dashboard. Now in the left hand side there is a pane, blue color pane. Now scroll down. So here this is Kibana option right here. Now hit it. So what it will do is open a new tab in which Kibana dashboard will be there. So this will open my Kibana. It's loading Kibana. Now these are the questions which I will be asking one by one. So let's put here this one. First step is the discover one. Now, since I have created the Twitter index for you, you have to create an, an index in Kibana before visualization. Task you to create an index. So you have also have to create the index for, by using this name. Make sure you use this name only. And now my data is getting shown here. That is 2714 one hits which are which means that 2741 queries are shorted to this database now let's hop to our first question how many tweets not contain this timestamp so let's see how what is a tweet how it looks like now so this is my tweet Right. one data which is right here now it contains a lot of fields right there are a lot of them and uh, let's see how we will filter it now what i have to answer is how many tweets not contain time stamp so what i will do is i will filter it up that what are the tweets which doesn't have time stamp so to do this i will use Add filter and right here I will use timestamp. Now till the timestamp underscore ms. Okay. Now in the operator section we have to use does not exist because our question is that timestamp is not present. Does does not exist choose in the operator and then hit save. See this filtering out the data okay so my hits are 391 now that means 391 queries are only available that does not contain the timestamp now all those queries which does not contain the timestamp are the deleted ones because these are deleted from twitter after being tweeted see all of them you will see scroll down and you will see a lot of tons of them. so this is how our first question ends with the solution. Now let's talk to the second question. So in our second question, how to filter the data by language? Now let's remove the filter of timestamp. Yeah. Now let's the add one new filter to filter the data out. Like I take an example. Like I only want the tweets which are in English because I understand only the English language no other language is understood by me so I will only pass the data and scream it 
in english language because i don't know any other language so to do so i will add a filter this one and now hit this one and hit line line dot keyword this one selected now in the operator one is and now value these are all the values there are many languages which are offered by default that is japanese and then i don't know all of them but this one is the english here yeah. now save now it's filtering the data so now 590 hits now all the data which is available in front of us is in the form of english language now we can understood it and uh, maybe we can get to one consensus or some derive some result from it now let's talk to our third question so in the third question how to sort the data according to time step now this is my third question so let's answer it also so i will remove this filter which i have previously added that is the language filter refresh it the bar dashboard okay 2041 it's now let's filter it out now in the timestamp ms i will add it now my data is being shown in the ascending or see this right Order and it is getting shown me according to the times. You can also add many stamps also like ID index. So, but in this question, as was mentioned, I have only used times and sorted my data. Now, let's create a visualization. Right. So, to create a visualization, I do what right hand side and in the second one. Below discover there is visualize. Hit this one. And now let's create one visualization. Fine. Since we want to create one table visualization, so select data table and then our index. So this is my table one showing me the count. Now, since we have to create one visualization with the full text keyword. Copy this keyword right here because it would be helpful. Now, what is the question is what are the most retweets of specific search term? So to find it, we will use this keyword. Now I will minimize it. Hit the split rows and the aggregation, use terms. And right here, paste the this one. Now extended tweets and retweets are available. So retweets status I will hit instead of five I will select twenty five. This size means that how many tweets will be shown in one glance. So now I will hit this play. Now these are all the tweets which are getting shown here, like COVID nineteen one and all. So this is the how we will rectify our question, right? Answer our question. Now, so I will save this table with a table name table visualization two. Right? I will confirm save. So this is my visualization name table visualization. Fine. Now let's answer my next question. So how many unique users are tweeting about a given search term? Fine. So I have to find the unique users which are tweeting about a given search term. So for that purpose, I have to create one file visualization. So let's hop to our visualize tab. Right, we are in visualize now. Create visualization, and here 
instead of choosing data table we have to choose pi now in the pi one select the index pattern that is twitter and right here let's go to split slices now like previous one we have, we have to use terms in the aggregation now we have to use the specific term which is called user dot screen or keyword copy it right here and now paste it so now we have to see the user screen keyword so instead of using this one use this intuitive data and instead of five because this five is the count of people which will be represented in the pie graph i want 25 so i will use this 25 count and then hit display so these are the 25 people which are unique right now so they are getting shown so as per your requirement you can change it to 5 10 15, 20 25 as per your requirement of people so it will randomly generate according to the percentage see this two percent three percent Segmented yeah. So this is how we are doing. Now let's create save this visualization also. So hit the save button and then use pi visualization. Pi visualization two. Now confirm the save. Now our next task is to create the dashboard in Kiban. So the dashboard is like a wrapper, right? Wrapper means a cover for all the tasks which we have done, all the dash, all the charts we have created. So we will pack it up in one dashboard. So I will create a dashboard right here and now add those visualizations. So to add them up, I will hit right here. Add now see this visualization two is here and this table is also now both the things are added to us and create a visual right so this is how i will create my visualization now let's save my visualization and i will use the name dash over this is and type in this description and from save now the dashboard will be showing you this dashboard too right this is my second dashboard this is how you will do fine we have answered all our questions now let's go one step further so this you can download the data in the form of csv format so hit save to download this data i'm not going to do here right and this is how we are going to see